very good memory, an ultra memory. And I do want to blame that on being sober. I honestly believe the simple fact that I never was into substances is why I have a crazy memory. Or maybe I just have a crazy memory by itself. Who knows? I don't know. But from a child, I've always had this one thing about me. One thing, since I was a child, I've always had this thing in my heart that didn't want other people to be sad. All right, put like this. Y'all going to help me find Rachel. Everybody scan their databases for a girl named Rachel. She live in L.A. somewhere. She used to have birthdays with a boy named Devon. My mama name is Pat. I forgot her mom name. But her and my mom used to work at the LAX airport together. Find her. All right. Since I was a kid, I don't know her. I haven't seen her since I was six years old. I do not know her at. I don't know anything about her. All right. Moving forward. Since I was a kid, I always had this thing in my heart. I always had this thing in my heart to where I didn't want other people to be sad. Since I was a kid, I'm talking like maybe... I used to give up my toys. Like, like if I see a baby crying, I'd just give them my pacifier or whatever the fuck I had. You could have it. It was just always something about me that didn't want to see other people sad. Since I was a kid. As I got older, I used to give up my lunches. I used to give up my lunch tickets. I used to just give up everything. And it's crazy because... I used to be like, yo, why the fuck am I, like, not lucky because I'm, like, struggling? But, like, I was, like, lucky inside the struggle. And I didn't have the same stress that a lot of people had. I didn't have the same fears. I didn't have, I, for something, something was in me since I was a child that told me, don't worry. Give it up. Give it all up. You're going to win at the end. Some told me that my whole life. My whole life. Some told me. Not just, just give it up. Like, it don't, it don't matter. Like, make sure that person stopped crying. I think I was fourth, fourth grade. I was on the basketball team. And we had somebody on the basketball team that was whack as fuck, like super whack. I didn't mean, was ultimately whack. Like he, he didn't even know how to play basketball. As a matter of fact, he didn't even have on basketball shoes. He had on sandals, like Payless sandals. We on the whole gym floor, and he got on Payless sandals. But anywho, the game on the line. We down by one point. I got the ball in my hand. I could clearly score the bucket. I pass it to him. We, I could have won us the game, but I passed it to him. He break that shit. The whole team was mad. The coaches, everybody was mad. Every. God damn it, Devon, why'd you pass the ball? We were supposed to win. You were supposed to shoot it. The whole squad was mad. I looked at him, and I seen how happy he was that he that he took a major shot like that. Bro, he touched the ball all season. Nobody passed this nigga.
You know what? I gave up a lot of opportunities in life. I gave up a lot. One of the reasons why I gave those opportunities up is because I always knew in the back of my heart I was going to win somehow. I always knew. Like, literally, always. I always knew. One thing I didn't know was when. When and how. Guess what, guys? All them years, putting in that hard work, that hard pain, as the world say, It really paid off. Like, it really, 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 really paid off. You know what? I'm that nigga. <laughs>